Well, g'day, Glav here and welcome back to Glav's World. Hey, if you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe button and if you like the videos, hit the like button as well. This is part three of a three series video of the Dark Side Riders Northern Bucket List Ride. Uh, on this video, I'm going to cover the last three days of the ride. Day seven, we head south out of Loy down to Konken, which is only 225 kilometres. This was a disappointment, this one. It was pissing down with rain, and we were going to actually head north up to the Lao border and then across sort of towards Non Kai and then south. However, we took the, you know, we thought we'd get smart, and it was raining so friggin' hard, it would have been a nightmare run and not enjoyable, so we just headed south. We tried to avoid the highways where we could, but hey, it is what it is. On day eight, we did 260 kilometres down to Korat. We try to avoid the major highways the best way we can. On day 9, 357 k's, but essentially it's just a transport leg home. After 9 days on the road and a lot of kilometres, all we wanted to do was make serious time at serious speed and get the hell home. I want to thank my Dark Side Riders mates, Palmy, Cole and Olivier, for a great ride. There were some things we just could not do on this ride that we wanted to. Poochie Far going right up to the top was one and as I just mentioned going up to that border at Lao and across the Non Kai was another. Hey what can I say? We didn't achieve what we set out to do. Oh we better do it again which we will do as soon as I can get out of bloody Australia and get back into Thailand and of course wait for that rain season in Thailand to finish and we'll be on this again. Hope you enjoy this. Happy days. So we've had a bit of a change of plan, it's just pouring outside. So instead of heading north up to the border, Cambodian border, we're gonna head south straight down to Con Ken and just have an easy day of it given it's pouring. Um, anyway, happy days. So here we are at our favorite coffee place, Amazon again. We're halfway between Loi and Con Ken. It's actually stopped raining for a while. Look at these ugly mofos. Just have a look at the crowd here that I knock around with. I need psychiatric help, obviously. Happy days. So, while we're in Konken, we've come to visit Harley at Konken. What else is there to do on a lazy afternoon? This is a really nice little dealership, quite a bit different from ours at Papia. What a nice little setup. We've just checked in to the Glacier Hotel in Con Ken after a straight through highway run. We got rained on for the first half and then it was dry. Not sure how far, 300 odd kilometres. This was 870 baht, quite a nice room. 870 baht is less than $40 for my Aussie mates. Not a bad room. Right in the heart of the city. What more is there to say? Happy days. Good morning, it's 7am in the morning. Just packing the bikes as usual. Day 8. Uh, we'll be leaving Con Ken this morning and heading for Karat. This is another easy ride. I've chosen to get off the highways, but it's still only under four hours ride today. We'll spend our last night in Karat tonight. Happy days. So bikes are packed. Well, nearly packed. Unfortunately, all the Harleys are pretty dirty, but then again, we've done the big ride. The Ponce on the rocket. He's been here two days and he's had to have it taken it down to the wash to have it washed. Well, it's the day, don't yeah. Two days, <laughs> two days, and he's had to have the little Thai boys crawl all over him and wash it. That's how ashamed of the bike he is. We've been on the road for about an hour. We're heading generally south, but we are west of the number two. We didn't know want to want to go down the number two still some pretty straight roads but at least it takes you through some scenic countryside 
better than heading down the highway. It's less than a four hour ride today, but tomorrow's a big one. So, what's that off there in the distance, you may ask? Oh, that'd be the rocket on the side of the road, the one that he keeps bragging about. Oh, something's fallen off the rocket. Well, we've stopped, still on our way to Karat and the Nakamuchisima. Stop for another coffee, we're in no hurry, no big deal. We seem to stop and have many coffees, really. The roads we were on were getting a bit too mainstream single lane highway stuff, so I've cut off those roads and we're on some, you know, it looks like here, main road, but it's not. We're on some back roads heading through the middle of nowhere. It's going to extend the ride a bit, which is what we wanted. It was a short day anyway. We've had enough fucking coffee to last us a lifetime. So we're heading bush. And we'll get to our destination in another few hours. Last night we splashed out Centrepoint Hotel in Karat. Very nice hotel. Must say the check-in procedures were shit house and then they gave us the wrong rooms and we had to go back down. Probably would have taken over 20 minutes, half an hour. Automated toilet, washer, dryer, the whole shebang. Very nice marble bathroom. Nice big fridge, not that it friggin' matters. What's in there? Oh, lots of water. It's cool. Nice big room, big king bed, very nicely finished. We're only on the 11th, we were on the 16th floor but we changed rooms, all four of us, so now on the 11th floor, nice view out. Happy days. Well good morning, it's uh, the last day of the ride, it's day nine, we've just completed night eight. We're all pretty knackered. Uh, we've decided instead of doing the twisty run home, we're going to bolt down the highway as efficiently as possible to get home. Been a great ride. Um, the bikes are all filthy, ready for a good tub. The boys are all knackered, which is good. Happy days. Bucket list ride number one with about 100 ticked off. Cheers. Just leaving Karat. Cow transport. One big bullock in the back of an old shitbox utility. Holy crap, look at that. So I don't know how many kilometres all up the trip was, about 360 today on day 9. I'm only a few k's from home now, some sort of traffic jam here, I don't know. Great ride, thanks to Palmy, Colin, Colin, Olivier for the ride. We didn't quite, we only missed out on one section which is up on the northern border near Cambodia given the weather on the day but hey, it was a great ride Always remember what I say people, life can be friggin so so short therefore, live your life today